Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome back to Vinyl Fury. In my last video, I said that because I wasn't bringing in many records like I used to, I was looking for other ways to make videos on this channel about the records I already have in my collection. So one of the ways I thought to do that was some sort of random pull. If you use Discogs, you might be aware of the feature that gives you a random selection from the if you have a, your collection listed there. So over the last few years, I've actually put all of my all of my music that has an entry on Discogs into a collection there. So almost all of my records and my tapes and CDs now are cataloged. On the website, you can just click random record. Or if you have the Discogs app on your phone, you just shake it and it'll come up with a random selection. So I figured I would just use that. It'll be a surprise to me which record I'm going to pull out and show and talk about. And um, so I'm, we're going to give that a shot today. So there's the Discogs app there. Let's give it a, a shake. All right. Let's find it. So fun fact. Uh, last year, about a year ago, I actually rearranged my record collection in chronological order, starting from the newest records over here all the way back to the oldest. So now if I think of something I want to listen to, or there's a record that comes up like this, I need to remember when it came out and find it that way. It's the first time I've ever done something like that. It's It's been kind of nice, actually. So let me find that record. All right. So the 1981 album from The Police, Ghost in the Machine. I'm pretty sure part of the fun for me of doing this will be trying to remember where I got these. And maybe even how much they cost. I want to say I found this in Seattle, probably at Jive Time. And it was probably not more than $5 at the time. I want to say this was a dollar record, wherever I got it. But as I recall, it's a, it's a very decent copy, and there's nothing not worth a dollar about it, that's for sure. Every little thing she does is magic. Of course, it's probably the biggest, one of their biggest songs, certainly from this record. I can't say that I've listened to this copy of this record more than once after I bought it, which was probably... 10 years ago at this point. So yeah, another reason for doing this is to kind of re-engage with, with the collection that I have. Another thing is I've been kind of calling my collection over the last few years and especially over the last couple. Every so often I just get the urge to go through, do I need this? I actually have, I recently put together a crate full of records that I pulled out to listen to and decide, do I need to keep this or can I move it on somewhere else? This I, I would definitely hang on to, but I definitely need to listen to it again. So this is a great way to remind myself of this. As you can see, I have a sticker here with the, with the date or the year. I put one of those on all of the records to help me keep them in that chronological order. So yeah, there's a random records number one. I think the idea is these will be quick enough and easy enough to do that I'll do several at a time and then space them out. Uh, so this is number one, and uh, I'm going to do a few more. And let me know what you think. Let me know what you might be interested in in me doing videos for otherwise. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon.